blessings 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 to all of my people so before me get to the athlete who passed away because of the police me go keep the thing positive firstly so jacob keep limo set a new half marathon world record in lisbon today running 57.31 or 57.31 and that's amazing so shout out to jacob and you know so we're not too like the negative things today so anytime when we are going to speak about negative topic we feel like some of the sugar coat it with look positiveness so the people um, vibration keep on a nice level and it's very unfortunate so I'm going to go into the story quick 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 and then after we are going to move on to our next topic alright so I'm going to make you know what I'm going right away easily and if you don't subscribe make sure you subscribe right now easily in Miami, an athlete was allegedly in a car with an armed suspect who allegedly popped out a gun while driving past the police. The car the armed suspect was in later stopped at the stoplight and the cops drive close to the armed suspect car and the cops pointed their weapon at the armed suspect vehicle. The armed suspect allegedly pointed a 357 Magnum at the cops and the cops after started firing shots at the armed suspect vehicle. The athlete was shot dead on the spot and the armed suspect is in critical condition at the hospital. Why? Channel. So basically, what we get from this is that you have to be careful who on you are par. Rest in peace to the athlete. I don't know how the athlete that lives differently. You know, the athlete could have been a shooter man just like the armed suspect. And in that scenario, he can be an innocent athlete, but he was already the ranks of the people and unlucky. You understand me? Jano style. Right now, the people of Fidus know the hero ground. You see? You have to be careful of who you are rolling. Because you see that arm suspect they are move like him crazy. Because end of the day, why you go drive past a police and make them know say you have gun and stop a stop like? You know, the police are driving though. You see, the police point gun. Panic. Most of the window in point, I could have tell him, say, step out of the car. I have point the gun from police like I eat that. You see, so I eat that little that one. I eat that thing, that thing. You know? I eat that thing that me have done to people. Jano, you know? that leader's going to give him life so I really eat that mad people. Jano, you know? so, I tell the people, you know, be careful. I have a careful owner and role because everybody have sense. Some people now live for nothing and just live in it. Just live them on a purpose. You see, they have to know you have to live with people and have no owner flex with. You see me? But John, we're going to move on to our next thing. It's the away, it's sticky. Alright, so here we are going, my people. Here we are going. Listen to me now. A top athlete, I even not call no name. The athlete that she cut the place. You know, all well, the people really are talking about him. And he did an interview, I'm going to play it. A nice piece of the interview, I'm going to hear him off his say. You understand me? So after I play that interview, I'm going to have nothing else to say. No, I'm just going to shut down the video. You know? So here I go. And thanks for watching. Blur the representing peace and love. Remember to subscribe if you don't subscribe. Bless up on yourself. Out of love, positive love and positive vibes. So bless up on yourself, people. Just bless upon the set. I'm gonna play the video so you don't know. See you in the next video. Peace and love. I'm out. Yep. champion to back up your silver medal from 2017. Yep. But then your career takes a little bit of a turn because you are suspended for whereabouts violations. And right. it means that effectively the 2020 season is wiped out, but you're also going to miss the games mm. for a young athlete being suspended for something like that take me through finding out that you were going to be suspended yeah and that you were not going to be at the olympic games and what that must have felt like for you right so, i mean that whole process was just so um it was definitely a, a dark time and I, I feel like i like we were talking you know yesterday i, I wouldn't really wish that on my worst enemy for real, just because like the process is so grueling and long, having to go through like hearings and talking to people and trying to defend your name and seeing like your name versus world athletics, you know, in the sport that I've done like since I was five years old, you know, it, I, I feel like it, it just, it hurts. Like it, it's heartbreaking, you know what I'm saying? Because this is a sport that I love, you know what I'm saying? Something that I've done my, my whole life. 
And the way I feel like life works is whatever you put into something, you know what I'm saying, it'll give it to you right back. And when I feel like I'm dedicating my whole life to, you know what I'm saying, track and field, like this is what I love, but it's not loving me back. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. And so having to go through that, that process, um, you definitely can slip into some, you know, some dark times, some, some depressing moments. But I feel like what got me through it, I mean, just, just being around my family, being around people who don't look at me as Christian Coleman, the guy, you know, who they see on TV or who they see on the track, you know, just me as a person. And I think going through that, I think it really just helped me separate the two. I feel like for so long, especially as an athlete, a high level competitive athlete, you kind of equate your, your self-worth to, you know, how your sport goes. Uh -huh. And going through this, I feel like it gave me an opportunity to, um, even though it was dramatic and, you know what I'm saying, most people's processes is a little bit different having to separate the two. But, you know, I just kind of had to figure that out on the fly, like, you know, Track and field doesn't really define me. Um, it's just, you know, what I do. Like you said, I mean, going through it, I'm still training, um, not knowing whether or not I would be eligible or not. And then finally finding out, you know, I would be suspended like through the Olympics. It was tough, it was tough. When you got handed down the suspension, I paid attention to how the public reacted. And the consensus among the public was this is a young man who is the world champion in the 100. He's getting paid a lot of money to do this thing, which by, by your own admission, you said you love. Mm -hmm. He's got to be more responsible with being there when they come to test him. So I want yeah. you to talk specifically to those fans of yours who were disappointed at you getting the suspension because they felt like this is something that's avoidable. Yeah. Um. I mean, I agree with you. I, I feel like it's definitely something that is avoidable. Mm -hmm. um, and on one hand, you know, I'm a little conflicted. I, I feel like I definitely have to be more responsible. You know what I'm saying? I have to take the time every single day to update the whereabouts app, make sure even if I have to wait by the you know door or wait in my living room for an hour of every single day and wait on a tester to come, even if they don't, just because that's what the rules are, that's what I have to do. And I have to take responsibility for, um, from my side of the, the, the situation, just being more responsible basically, because you know, it's really like a, a paperwork type of thing, you know, updating your whereabouts. I mean that that's on me. I just, you know, have to be more responsible. So now you've so now you've served your suspension, you had to sit in Eugene and watch the Olympic trials, and you had to watch the Olympic Games in Tokyo from home. Did that bother you at all? Did you feel like this is unfair or you know what, this is this is basically what I have to deal with. By the time the Olympics actually came around in the trials, mm -hmm. I had already came to terms with the, the situation and the cards that I had been dealt. And I you know, was just preparing for the future and what I need to do to be ready for when I do return. Just because at that point, I had been going through it for like two years, you know what I'm saying, at that point since like 2019. And so, I, yeah, I, I I feel like going going through it. I mean, was the like worst part of it? You know, going through the hearings, like going through like I was saying earlier, and seeing your name like versus World Athletics. Like, I feel like that was kind of the the like thick of it. And then like by the time you know they had gave me the suspension, gave me my fate, what was gonna be, I had already came to terms with it and accepted it and. Um,